everyone welcome back to my channel drinks of delight today i'm going to be sharing with you some quick tips on drawing portrait so the first tip is to come up with the basic shapes you look for portrait you map out the basic shapes and then use a circle for the head and also add guidelines for the facial features like the jaw lines, the eyes, the placement. Remember that the, from the hairline to the nose, from the nose to the cheek should be the same length. Next, to move on to the facial features, you place the eyes on the horizontal guide. Remember that both the eyes should be one eye width apart next the nose the nose falls halfway between the eyes and the chin and also the width is an eye is an eye width apart for the mouth the mouth is usually positioned a bit halfway point between the nose and the chin you can draw a basic line and then adjust it to the way your portrait is and then you can go to the ears the ears length of the from the nose to the middle of the eyes so I align them and check that everything is the same height then after coming up with the basic features you can refine the features by adjusting the proportions of the head to according to the guidelines according to the portrait and remember that every face is unique so adjust the features as needed but also keep in mind the ratios of the facial features and as you add the details like the eyebrows the hairline make sure that you do according to the portrait and also avoid continuous lines as they may make your portrait look flat. The next step is shading. You can actually choose to shade or not to shade, but it's shading usually for advanced artists. But even as for beginners, you can do some light shading to give a 3D dimension of the portrait. The first is look at the portrait and map out the darkest areas, the mid tone and the lightest areas the lightest areas you can just leave the color of the paper the paper is white for the mid tone you can put a light shading and then for the dark tone you can actually use the tip of the bent tip of the pencil or whatever instrument or material that you're using make sure that the features you use different pencil strokes according to the shape of the features according to it. different textures that you want to create whether it's for the light or for the dark for the light strokes can be used for soft areas for the dark strokes you can use it for sharper features after you're done you can adjust it and that's the overview of dream portraits it shapes place your features we define and add some shading. We found this helpful. Thank you for watching until this point of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share. If you have any comments, please let them down and I'll comment. I'd like to see you next time. Bye.